it came into my mind to question what is the development of consciousness within three-dimensional matter, physical reality. And the garden, that is why the Zen garden, the, the masters focused on the garden, because the garden shows all those layers and it is a guide, it is an intelligence guide to reality where the superior dimension is consciousness and everything that you see here is mirrored in consciousness or this, what you see here, is a mirror of the field of consciousness, the, the unknown, the unseen, that which is invisible, well you can see it in the third dimension on all its levels and here you have the straw the soil, the straw protects the soil and allows probiotic interactions and the the beings that grow from that, from the ground of the the Buddha principle being the, the higher um, dimensional interaction above and part of all this as an undivided whole and then the plants, we're the plants we're the not only the physical, what you see here is it's, it's growing out of a a very dynamic interaction of, of soil and protection and nourishment and we humans are the plants and we're growing out of that but although we're growing physically our roots are consciousness, spiritual the development of the fruit well that's us the reliance of to grow on a medium a medium provided and created for us by some unknown gardener, I guess. Well, that's the Zen mind, isn't it? That's the Zen garden. The unknown gardener, have, having planted the fruit, having planted into the medium of eternal soil that renews itself constantly. And you have all the different types of growing entities on the planet, the different levels, not races, not nothing to do with genetics in terms of um, the species, but consciousness, the difference, the different um, variations in plant life within the human the complete human species is consciousness. Now here we have this tiny, tiny little lettuce is not too happy in here. The others placed somewhere else are doing a lot better, but it's so precious. And that's what I'm trying to say because the human mind is, if it's not some big giant lettuce growing, producing product, then they're not interested, but this has value beyond anything that the current humans today can understand because this is the little lettuce is struggling, but it's surviving and it's having that interaction with the, its own interaction that no one can control with that reality, that, that base. <coughs> 